ArcGIS 10.3 introduces a new type of ArcGIS server service called a stream service that allows you to push high volume, high velocity data to your web maps and web applications. Now similar to a feature service and its feature layer, a stream service contains a stream layer. So let's go ahead and add an existing stream layer to the web map that is streaming flight data. So we'll add the flight stream layer. The airplane features are now streaming to the map and they're being updated in real time with their current location. Next, let's explore some of the options available on the stream layer itself. First, we'll change the symbols to something a little more representative of the actual data that we're receiving. So in this case, that's airplanes. So from the transportation symbol set, we will choose an airplane. Another option on the symbol itself is the ability to set a rotation angle. So we have a field in our incoming stream of data called heading that's going to allow us to orient the airplanes in the direction in which they're currently headed. So let's zoom into Dallas-Fort Worth area here and you can see uh, that the properties that we have applied are now displayed in the map. With the stream layer you also have the ability to do temporal rendering. So we can choose, in this case, maybe to draw the three previous observations of each airplane using this symbol. And then we can connect those observations using a line to create a breadcrumb trail of where the airplane has previously traveled. In addition to some of the symbology options, you also have the option to do some spatial filtering. So we can choose to limit the observations to the current map area. So this if we're only interested in seeing airplanes in this current extent, we can use this option. Now let's clear that filter and show all observations again. We can also perform attribute filtering. So we can come in and click filter and define a filter that maybe we only want to see inbound flights into Dallas-Fort Worth. So we can define an expression here and apply that filter. So now we only see inbound flights into Dallas-Fort Worth. Now that we're done modifying the properties of our stream layer, we can save this map. And we'll save this as My Flights. And we'll add a tag of flights and save the map. We can also share the map with everyone as well as those within our organization as well as make a web application using the new Web App Builder or any of the available configurable app templates. So let's preview the basic viewer. Now you can see we have a web application that is streaming real-time data for flights inbound into Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. As you've seen, this new stream layer enables your web maps and web applications to view large amounts of streaming real-time GIS data. Imagine how this could transform your work. It's all possible with ArcGIS.